try a smaller fish. on. Oh, they let go. I saw the smoke hit it. I saw him get popped. That was awesome. down there because that's when they hit it. Fish on. Oh it's a good one too guys. Oh that's that's a good smoke. Oh yeah. Got tangled up in my other rod. That's a good snook, boys. There he goes. That was a leader touch. He just couldn't let that pinfish go. <laughs> you had to keep coming back for it. All right, let me reset you. I'll be right back. Fish on, fish on. By the time I reset, it was fish on. But I have this one recording, so you'll see it, the whole thing. Small snook. this. I won't turn you off again. Usually I'll find that like snook will stay on a couple of, I think there'll be a couple snook on like most corners and stuff and then, oh, fish on. Good one guys. This one's pulling hard. Come on, don't go underneath there. When you're fighting these snook, you gotta stay. Yeah, keep your rod tip low, because if they jump, they're going in the mangrove, they'll be all over. I've lost too many nice snook because of that. my line so there's the hookup ah, this one's dead he's no good snook don't like dead bait all right guys let's see what happens here oh they oh that was awesome I saw him pop it it was a oh 
they cut me off. That sucks that I missed them. There, hang on. There we go. He's nervous, guys. Oh, he's nervous. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. I saw him take it. I was sick. Look. Watch this. You can see him hitting it. Ridiculously good action. All right. Hopefully you can capture this. There, they hit him. Fish on. And there's Snook following him. I'm gonna probably lose him right here. Lots of times they just pop off right next to you. Oh, don't go under my bucket. Guys, this is awesome. Just watching them eat like this. We're lucky we got this boy in. See you later, Mr. Schnookum. See if we can do that again. I gotta save some of my bait for redfish too. All right, let's cast and let's see what happens. Oh crap. Alright, that was a good cast. There we go. I took it. Hey guys, Mr. Schnookums. These aren't even that bad of snooks. I mean, they're not big snooks, but it's still awesome. I gotta see how much bait I got left because I'm burning through bait here incredibly quick and I'm, I'm actually out here for a redfish. So. Let me see how much baits I got. If a fish swims like directly behind me, I'll hook him in the nose. If he keeps swimming towards me, I'll hook him in the tail. That way to keep him in the strike zone. Oh, that one should get smoked. That was a really good cast. Fish on. Oh, got it, guys. Shoot. Tell you what, there's no shortage of fish underneath this. Oh, yeah, guys. Let's hope. They don't. I noticed that. Oh, he got hit. Please don't cut me off. He's deep in there. I gotta horse him. Snook. It's a good one too, y'all. Uh, 
on the 3000 size reel they feel good <laughs> they all feel big that's why i like using it I switched to a little bit bigger of a hook because I wasn't because I was losing too many fish so nice make sure your hooks are nice and sharp at the tip when you're going pinfish because when you hook them through the nose you'll just kill them uh, if it doesn't pierce nicely and snook they're not very good about hitting dead bait they'll hit live bait just to get it out of their territory. But dead bait, they, they'll they kill it and then they'll just leave it alone. I can see them popping it. I keep losing them. Fish on. Oh, they just keep, you know, you just can't get them on 20 pound test line. It's crazy, you just can't, they break the line. Oh, but this is, this is definitely a lot of fun. There's a dolphin that just showed up, so he's definitely going to ruin the fishing. They always do. move out of this dolphin's way because fish don't eat when they're around they just they mess things up I feel like the bike shuts off when you go around dolphins that's our cue to move <laughs> that was a fire bite I missed most of the stuff I got. Oh, they hit it. They, oh, there, they took him. Oh. Hey, Sean. Shoot. And he got hit. Oh, oh, they hit him. Shoot, that was only 20 minutes, if that. Now I'm gonna move out to another spot that I'm gonna prospect and I'm gonna troll this slam shady with a one eighth ounce jig head on the end of it. Maybe I'll get a hit on it. Usually I get uh, trout and stuff when I'm doing that. So I got about a mile to paddle, which isn't really too bad, but I worry about like storms popping up. So I gotta keep a close eye on the radar. Hey yeah, guys, so I'm up here at Riviera Bait and Tackle. This has kind of become my go-to spot, especially when I'm fishing in the St. Pete area. And they've been really, really good on bait so far. They always have good sized bait, pinfish, shrimp, and sometimes like crabs and stuff. So I definitely recommend checking them out. What's your name, man? Jacob. Jacob, you want to tell them about the store? Uh, yeah, uh, so we've got, you know, of course, pinfish, shrimp, um, sometimes we get white bait in. I do rod and reel repairs, custom custom builds. We've got all the soft plastics and hard plastics you can get. Ice and frozen bait. It's a one-stop shop, man. All right. Yeah, check out Riviera Bait and Tackle, guys. I'm going to give you an overview of the store real quick. And they definitely have all the needs that you want right before you go, so. Yeah, yeah. 
We got Chum. So check them out, guys. They're a newer tackle shop in the area, and they've been definitely good. I've, they've been very dependable with bait and stuff, which is the most important thing to me. So, all right, see you out on the water. All right, we've arrived at the spot, and it certainly is deep here. Let's see what we can pull out, people. Sun is right in our faces. Fish on. It's a red. Heck yeah, guys. I'm just missing my trout. This is the spot I wanted to check out. Heck yeah. I hope I don't lose this guy. I normally don't lose reds. Sweet, that's what I targeted acquired, guys. It's a nice one, guys. Not as, I don't think it's no 30 incher, but he's definitely, he's good. <laughs> God, I just got to finesse him, guys. I'm afraid I'm going to lose him. Come on, baby. Come on. It's a leader touch, guys. Freaking awesome fish. Come on. Oh, come on. This is why I like to catch red guys, because they're strong. They do put a good, always a good drag burning. Oh, there's reds right in front of me. I mean, he's not a monster red, but he's still really, really good. I'll take a red fish like this any day of the week, guys. Absolutely nothing against this red right here. Check that out, guys. Nice red fish. And a slot size red fish, most likely. I know where I'm anchoring. All right. I saw a little bit of swirls in the water, so I decided to cast it. Boom, here we go. Yeah, whatever. He's good to go. <laughs> Sick. You just kind of know when you're in a like a fishy redfish area. You just kind of know. And another one thing, guys, that I want to emphasize that's important, and I'm guilty of doing this, is I'll I'll focus on the mangroves a lot, and I won't cast out into like the middle waters and stuff. I caught that one on the middle water. So that's why I bring two rods with me because um, I'll kind of just do my thing focusing on the mangroves and I'll leave a rod in the middle of the area and uh, you know oftentimes that one will get hit. Uh, the rod holder is always the best fisherman in the boat. 
All right, my people, that is going to do it for this episode. Um, we start out really early in the morning as the sun was rising. The bite was phenomenal. As the sun turned yellow, it really slowed down, which has kind of been the normal for the past few weeks. As I was searching around, I did notice some really good schools of redfish, um, but you know, I tend to spook them. Unfortunately, I don't have very good eyesight, so it's always helpful when I have a second friend with me to kind of stop me before I run over them, but they were definitely out there. So I know I'll be back out here soon at it again. Once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.